Heavy and Linear Squad, what up?
what is up everyone welcome back to max on deck it has been a minute it's been, been a minute long. yo don bros what's up boy howdy how are we we survived the great ice apocalypse <laughs> it was definitely a rough week it was very like just <laughs> unique yeah <laughs> Uh, start code on UST. Hello, XO Squid. That one, Brody, Static Age, the People's Champion, Static Age. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thrilly, hello, hello. Thanks for sticking around. We had it was it was weird. Typically, we'll call we've called us we've called the week twice. Yeah, we've and uh, now three times. One was for a personal tragedy. One was for I just worked my ass off trying to get all the Squid 60s out the door back in January. I was like, I need all my life to come back to me for like (laughs) a couple days because it was busy. Keep them high and tight. May your batteries always be charged. Yeah, that was uh, that was that was a problem Monday after once we got power Monday. It was not a problem. Thank God for fast charging. Yeah, like. I had I, if this system. had happened 10 years ago, it would have been rough. Dude, I had a system because I have like a external battery, like a little mm-hmm. charger that'll charge my phone like three or four times. Yeah. And so every time the power would come back on, I would charge that all the way up, charge my phone. Because for it was like you had no idea when you were getting power back. It was like it could yeah. be six hours. It could be 24. Um, But the funny thing is, is like, be like oh it, like it wasn't the fact like it wasn't that the cold it was the the power right at least for us yeah at least for us like i think you and i were for your you had it uh, yours was colder i'm on the second floor so we got any heat from the bottom came up to us which was nice uh we didn't have any heat so like i i just wore sweatpants and a sweatshirt for like that i think the biggest one was no hot water you didn't have water yeah, we didn't have hot water. Uh, describe blanket statements. Um, but yeah, it's 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 weird, especially when you're sitting there. And I was like sitting at my computer Tuesday night, I think, and it's just like <laughs> I'm like, and it's pitch black. Lucky number seven. <laughs> like, it is. I can't see a f- like. Th- I I already can't see that well. <laughs> like I now can't see six inches in front of my face. So hopefully, no water damage. Uh, no water damage here. We never, our pipes were fine, luckily. Yeah, mine was, uh, mine were fine as well. I didn't have any water damage either. Uh, they just shut off water to my entire complex because they had like 20 buildings that had, uh, some sort of water damage or busted pipes. So they were like, Mm -hmm. we're shutting it off everywhere until we can get plumbers out. And then I live in building like 30 of like 35. So I was one of the last ones. to get to get water back so i didn't get water i was out of i didn't have water from wednesday until uh midday saturday so also thank you gnarly charlie for you for the tier one for seven months um that one brody for the tier one for four months and then gnarly charlie for you thank you for the 31 bits appreciate it uh but yeah yeah, the, the pupper bits yeah it was it was an experience um you know, it, what what I liked was a lot of people in the Discord checked in on us, which I appreciate. Uh, so thank you to everyone. Um, it, it, it wasn't for us. It wasn't like suffering. It was just more like boredom. <laughs> Took a lot of naps because at that point you're like, you can only play so many card games. And when the power goes out at night, <laughs> like, <Yeah>. well. <laughs> well, the, the worst part for me was that I, so I went to my parents' house because I didn't have power for, at my apartment, it didn't have power for over 20 hours. So I went to my parents' house because they have a, a gas fireplace, which made it much better. But I was waking up every other hour. My dad were switching, and I were switching off every hour to go outside and crack all the ice in the pool to make sure that it didn't freeze over because mm-hmm. the pumps weren't running. Um, so that was annoying. Like I barely got any sleep uh, Monday and, and Tuesday night because of that. Uh, but luckily, it, it, was, it was better after that. And the pool had no damage. so. Everything works. Boom. So that's, Easy peasy. That's Probably good. just really, really low on chlorine. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it was like it was like four 
inches too low in water because of yeah. just because of everything. ice and melting. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we're okay. Uh, we're back. Uh, I was able to stream Saturday. Uh, we were, I was back up and running completely after noon on Thursday. So, um, had to throw out all the refrigerated food, which was annoying, a little more annoying for you. Cause I know you had just gone and like re-upped on a lot of stuff. I didn't have to throw a lot of stuff away cause I wasn't here. So like my fridge just stayed closed. Mm -hmm. uh, so everything, like I threw away some cheese, but most of the stuff was, was fine. A lot of stuff That's I have good. is frozen too. So it didn't really yeah. do anything. And then that one, Brody, the reason why you don't want to let the pool freeze completely is that because it, because water expands when it freezes, it can actually crack the the pool itself which would yeah. be extremely expensive to fix so. back in back in 2011 my parents emptied a third of their pool like two days before it happened because it was already it was like it was january when it happened it was right before the super bowl and i remember my parents were like we're going to drain and probably piss off everyone when the when the <laughs> the alley freezes over <laughs> but People can be upset that there's ice in the alleyway. We're not ruining our entire backyard because yeah. of that. So, and yeah, New they, England's pools just freeze. Yeah, they emptied the in all of the pools. Like we have, there's like at my complex, there's like two pools with a hot tub in the middle. Like it's two separate mm -hmm. little pools. They emptied all three of them. <laughs> I mean, it's smart. It's, yeah, don't have to worry about it. So, but. We are we are here. We are back. We've got a relatively busy uh, day. Gnarly Charlie for you. Thank you for the 100 magical rainbow unicorn bits. <laughs> Skateboarders Paradise, maybe. Uh, a lot of our Texas pools are square pools, so yeah, it's not. Uh, it's it's not curved. But uh, I will. You know, I'll go first on the mail day because I don't really have a whole lot of keyboard mail um i have some other cool things i have mail coming uh what's up hellbent tv if you guys haven't checked out hellbent um so keyboard mail well i didn't really i haven't really received a lot of mail <laughs> we have a lot of mail coming in but uh i guess new in the world i have a new phone neat that's the samsung s21 uh my second favorite thing that i have received today my mom Mexo made horn, me this Mexo lovely horn, Mexo horn. little i can put it over my headphones that's how big it is yeah it's like a week too late but you know what she got it done whenever the power was out but i got a nice little skull cap and i have a huge head and yeah, this do. thing is perfect <laughs> dude that's like so. that's solid Right. I was, you know, my mom's like, well, we were just sitting around bored all day. I was like, at least, you know, you, thank you. And it's, now it's now it's like 80 degrees outside. Yeah, it was funny. I was on the phone with customers today and they're like, yeah, how's it going there? Are you staying warm? And I'm like, well, considering it's literally like 75 degrees warmer than it was <laughs> a week ago. Yeah, we're good. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing. In short. We have a, uh, in our small little friend group, uh, we decided to buy uh, matching. <laughs> a lot of us did uh, matching sweatpants. So, oh, it's Chewy. He wears that shirt all the time. He wears the glasses. But whoa, bam! Rainbow. Yeah. Styling. Mmm. Rainbow. Oof. Oh, my. Absolutely. EOS. <laughs> Dude, Twitch can't handle Twitch, Twitch can't, can't handle the rainbow sweatpants. My wife's got them. Uh, I've I beat today is this episode that is a giant middle finger to Langlandia <laughs> <laughs> and and what's called beating Lang to the market of goofy things. <laughs> uh, because Osiris has mail that we've been extremely excited about, but we couldn't talk about last week for obvious reasons. Um, but Lang has some too. And he's like, I can't wait to show him off on stream. I was like, we're streaming before you. So fuck you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hander bite pants. Absolutely. GMK rainbow. If, if you guys remember, if, if anyone remembers that set, uh, making waves, but yeah, that's my mail. I've got a lot of cool mail coming in the next week. Absolutely. So very next week will, will be a good, a good week of what, things. What is on your, 
desk right now. Desk. Uh, went to the Key Cult. I've seen a few Zyko build vo- build videos, like Andy Andy Wen build one last night. So I just went. I was like, you know what, Zykos, let's let's go, let's have some fun. Um, I kept most of my keyboards. I put a lot of my keyboards up because they were getting really cold. <laughs> I was like, I hope the lube doesn't get fucked up. But luckily, it was fine. And then I noticed that this is patinating nicely. Like it's starting to starting to darken up a bit, and I really like it. But it's my Zyko key cult build. Uh, absolutely love typing on it. Um, and I think I was inspired because of, I'll talk about this in a little bit, but the stupidest switch I think I've ever made. <laughs> I can't wait for you to try it. Absolutely. I can't wait either. It's pretty, pretty absurd. We'll talk about that here in a bit, but I'll go. I'll go now. I've got a. Uh, Let's see it. What do you? What'd you get in the mail? You got better mail than I did. I've got some some cool mail. So uh, it's actually in in chat earlier. Mode obscure sent these out to me. Hit me up over. Hit me up like last week, and he's like, "Hey, we're doing these switches, and I would like you to try them. Would you want them?" And I was like, "Yes, I would like to try them." So these are the two switches that Mode has. Um, put out one is a linear that's this guy oh wait no this guy and then it is called let me double check if i don't get it wrong this is the reflex 63 and a half gram uh duroc switch got an alpaca v2 stem with a new top housing so excited to try these out and then these are the signal these are a medium tactile switch also duroc got an mx clear style bump so medium tactile that's a that's a type a switch type that we've talked a lot about uh, it feels like because of the holy panda and everyone trying to strive to be the holy panda we've seen a lot of switches that are going for maximum tactility this is trying to go in between you know a lot of people kind of miss that that medium tactility of something like a zeal v1 or like what this is going for which is a uh, mx clear profile um, and this is a custom mold top housing as well. So I'm excited to try these out, uh, mess around with them for a little bit and, and see, see how they work. So I might be doing that on Saturday. Uh, so we'll be chorin, putting these together, comparing them with some other uh, Duroc switches as well as some other switches and seeing how they are. And then last but not least, what Chewie and I have been waiting <laughs> for, waiting to share. Oh, the last like I think two weeks we got I got these in I think Friday before it was the Friday before last week so yeah two weeks ago this upcoming Friday these are a switch that we bought from a website that you would not expect to buy them at and these are the feckers <laughs> fucking feckers Beckers. Oh no, 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 no. Star code on. That's a great guess. That's a fantastic guess, but you can actually buy lots of like drop is on Amazon. There's a lot of switches. We bought our Moyu blacks on Amazon. No, no, no. We bought these from Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Chewy, we, we, we finished stream last or two weeks ago and Chewy just goes, we need these. And he just sent me a Walmart link. I clicked it and I was like, I was very confused because I saw the Walmart link. And I was just like, what is, what on earth is this? You know, I thought it was going to be something weird, no. something funny. I do send you a lot of stupid shit. So. It is weird and it is funny, but it is <laughs> switch. It is a switch. <laughs> and what's hilarious about, hilarious about these switches, and I realized not only on their Walmart uh, description, do they not actually have a real description. They just copied the photos and the entire description from the drop Holy Panda page. It is just like word for word, the drop Holy Panda uh, page. So these are the Fecker Panda clones. And they are not good. (laughs) (laughs) Unfortunate. Uh, so the official name on the Walmart website, I'll post the link here in just a second, are the Fecker Switch 3-Pin Key Switch DIY Replaceable Switches 
for a mechanical RGB gaming keyboard. That is the name and description. They say the word switch three separate times. Uh, Law, did they really copy the Holy Panda description with a name like Holy Panda? Exactly. Um, it's. I haven't personally got this. I wanted to go over and try some, but I was unable to. Will it blend? Maybe. Uh, the the hobby has officially made it. <laughs> the hobby made it. We're on Walmart. Uh, what what I do find funny is it says it's for mechanical RGB gaming keyboard. These are not these are not for RGB. No, <laughs> they would do terrible in RGB. Um, so it's you know we've seen a lot like there's there's so many different holy panda manufacturers now like everybody's making holy pandas of this kind of colorway um it, it's it exists you know it, they they ex the whole time they're in shipping i was like osiris these could be the greatest switches of all time <laughs> <laughs> they're not i mean they're, they're not, not they're not like they let me rephrase they are not the worst switch in the world they feel decent but they are not a holy panda like you take the stem out and you look at it compared to like a drop holy panda or the glorious panda and they are not, not even cool. close <laughs> <laughs> like they feel nice like they're they're less tactile the spring is awful um and you can tell that like the housing just feels cheap and they are cheap and these will be fine for someone, right? Like these are perfectly fine switches. They're just not what they claim to be by any stretch of the imagination, considering like the about this item on the website says that they are uh, made with stems from Halo Clears or Halo Trues with the housing found on Fecker Panda Switches, Holy Panda Switches combined the best of two worlds. They just like took out they just took out different portions of drops actual uh, description and put Fecker instead of like Inver, but then uh, they missed write, it in some you places. Write a review, by the way. Oh, I should. <laughs> I should. <laughs> so, um, un unfortunately, uh, I was excited that I was hoping that maybe they at least got the stem correct, right? And I was like, you can get the stem correct, then there's a lot of stuff you can do. I've realized more and more how important the leaf of a switch is. Um, I'll get to that in a second. Um, well, first off, before we start diving too much too deep, what is on your desk today? Yeah, let me put the feckers back in their box. <laughs> props on the pops. Props on the packaging. I en I enjoyed the fecker box. It's really feckin' cool. <laughs> um, but yes, what is on my desk? I brought out my my bower there it switch is. back to the bower gmk dual shot jwk uh i almost said lilacs but they're mobs palm plate i just love this board feels good looks good sounds good it's nice it's good it just is good there it is uh and my other thing which sadly was uh was, I, I was like well Maybe the switch bottom is bad, but are they good for Zykos? Because this could break the Zyko market wide open if you could get these for dirt cheap. Like, and they didn't work. <laughs> so yeah, what is the what does the math work out to? Because they're thirty eight dollars and fifty three cents for a hundred and ten. It's like forty eight cents, I think, was whenever I looked it up. I don't remember exactly, but 35 it was thirty five cents. Thirty five. Okay, so. Yeah, it would have been great. It would have made the Zyko less than a dollar fifty. If they were good holy pandas, honestly, they'd be the best holy pandas to get. But um as I as I feared what was probably gonna be with them, and just like the glorious pandas, um the glorious pandas leaf is great for the stock spring. It is I mean, it's the glorious panda is meant to be a switch that you don't really mess with, maybe lube some. Um but it's it's not meant for spring swapping. It's and so it does and it doesn't need to be. Not all switches are going to be great with spring swapping. So when I you know in the glorious pandas, my my biggest gripe is that the leaf is pretty weak, so you can't it, it doesn't handle the spring swap very well. Um as I have been tinkering more with these Moyu Black switches, 
I found a very dumb combination that is hilarious. Um, you can see. Hold on. Come on. You can literally see. The like. <laughs> the bump. Um, if you take a blueberry stem and you put it in a Moyu black housing or a dark jade Everglide housing, which is a great switch on its own, by the way, probably it's in my top four. I haven't really thought, sat down and thought about it, but I haven't spent enough time with the Moyu blacks. Um, if you make this Franken switch, be prepared to put a heavy as fuck spring in it because this is a 98 gram spring and it has a hard time resetting. <laughs> I put it in with a 74 gram spring. Did it actuate? Heard a lot of blueberry spring and switches don't actuate. No. Well, okay. It's not that it, it actuates. It just doesn't reset. Yeah, so I put it with 74 gram, boom, and it's stuck in place. I put it with an 89 gram. It, it struggled to push it back up. 98 grams, the only one that would push a space bar up. Might even build these with like 120 grams. Are they usable? For me, yes. <laughs> for, <laughs> for about the 20 of us, G. Willett, I think, is a part of the group now. Uh, the, uh, the, the heavy, I think I even made a roll of the heavy spring club. Um, they're super loud. I'm not putting that much pressure. But because the spring is so heavy, it's like super duper loud click. I can't wait to build these because they sound like clickies, but they're not. Um, and yeah, of course I'm going to build them because why wouldn't I, it's going to be a really dumb switch and I can't wait to type on it. <laughs> You're wasting your Moyu blacks. I think the Moyu I'm, getting, black... I'm getting more Mo Moyu blacks. Oh, for okay, this. Okay. I'm not, I'm using the Moyu blacks that I have are going to go in my squid 60 because I really, really like the Moyu blacks. Yeah. But I realized that the, the, the glory of the Moyu black is not the stem. It's the spring. It's the leaf in the housing. Yeah. I think, I think the Moyu black might be the best stock, like tactile switch, non Franken switch. It, it, when you combine that with sound, it's, it's scratchier than a Zelio, but it sounds better than a Zelio. Yeah. And it's like, you're going to lube them anyway. So like, yeah, like I don't, I feel like lubing is just kind of like a thing, right? Like you, mm -hmm. you do that. Like it's, I would, I would definitely take that, the Moyu Black over Azelia. Oh, yeah. Sounds better. Would, feels a little well, bit better overall without stock, absolute stock. Just because I am me, seventy-eight gram Zelios are one of the few switches I would take at stock. Right, and that's just so because I, of the spring that's weight. Because yeah. of the, have the spring weight. So with no mods, the Zelio 78 gram is the only switch at stock that I would personally use. But if I'm if I'm planning on doing springs, but I don't want to do anything else really, I'd, Moyu Blacks would probably be number one. Yeah, I feel bad because I look back and when they announced the Everglide Dark Jades and the Moyu Blacks, like they had that drop page with uh, Tay Keyboards did like a video on it, like. I kind of thought it was a meme. I think we all kind of did. Like, oh, really? Now another like holy panda. Like, another and holy panda. They like came out really good. Like, I think they came out really, really good. So interested to see. But speaking of Moyu Blacks, that's going to be on a website. So one of the biggest contributors to this hobby, I personally think, and one of my favorite contributors to this hobby, that is not a vendor or a streamer. Um is a guy who goes by the Discord name Scott W. Scott W. has made a website we have talked about before. Uh, it is called MK Rank. It is a great website. If you have not heard of MK Rank, it is a very cool website that lets you, uh, it says, looks like the project's taking a break right now, probably because he's busy at the moment. Um, uh, with this new website, <clears throat> but he put together this thing called MK rank and it lets you rank your favorite key sets and switches and you can kind of see what other people like. And then it will show like uh, how your votes kind of stack up to the mass of votes. And he's made a new website that I think is, while that one's just kind of a fun one. I think this one is a significant jump in what is useful, especially to new people in the hobby called 
Thock Stock. That is T H O C S T O C K. Yeah, this is this is pretty awesome. It's you know claiming to be the best in stock mechanical keyboard products. Spend less time searching for what's in stock and more time building. So it's really just it compiles where you can get what is alive and where you can get it. Uh, you know, it's got like here you got the bumper sixty percent. It's got a link to the website where you can go and you can buy said product. Uh, so it's super, it's super nice. And it's got, you know, it's easy to navigate. It's super simple. Um, everything's laid out nice and easy uh, with the, like you went through the level of like, it's not just you click the product and it takes you to the page. It's got a description on it. So you can see, okay, is this what I need without having to go to the actual website to buy the product? Um, so we've seen other people do something like this but not to this level. And I think the biggest thing is, is it going to be kept up? Right. Yeah. That's, that's always, that's always the question. Hopefully it does. Uh, it takes a lot because a lot of things change. Um, I might say, get, you know, don't get mad if something is out of stock message him. Uh, cause I am sure that he would love to know this is, oh, I hope a couple different people hop on the train of getting these, updated as quickly as possible um with a lot of the and no not everything on here is available right uh or not everything that is available is on here immediately um or not everything yeah not everything that is available is on this website but help him out um uh, he's in our discord scott w he's a great guy um he just the fact that someone went through the process of building a website specifically to help people find things that they can buy right now is brilliant. Like it's so awesome that, you know, we are keyboard content creators. So what was the most common question we ask, where do I go to buy stuff? Uh, or why the hell do you spend that much money on keyboards? Those are the two big ones. <laughs> um, and this is a website where you can, well, you can go to Thoughtstock. Once you've, when you decide you want to, this is pretty much brand new Lux Cables. He, he, he posted about it last week. Um, and it's just, it's fantastic. The second he posted, it, I was like, thank you. I, I was, I was wanting to see more from him. Um, I think he's like literally God tier in this hobby of people that put just really good stuff out on the web, on the internet. Uh, you know, key ca keycaps, keyboards, these are all things people are looking for. And you can pretty much get you you can go through here. You might be ordering from a couple different places, but you can go through this website and get an entire board built, not built, but at least all the pieces to build it, including a desk pad, um, you know, from this website. And I I this it's not sponsored. He's not you know, does he have favorites? Absolutely. But these favorites are not really from, there's not like one company that sticks out. He's, he kind of, it's nice. Bases. It's nice because with something like this, you're able to specifically for like desk pads and keycaps and keyboards, you're able to see everything from like a compilation of everything from all the vendors without having to go to all said vendors websites to yeah. look at things right like it's an easy way to just get <clears throat> a good handle of what's in stock at places and this isn't these aren't group buys these are these are in stock um, yeah these are ready to ship items. i mean there is a there is a board that personally like if i didn't i, I would buy and build this board with everything on here and it's and it's it would be basically this a bumper is available i would probably get um uh like either sa honeywell or gmk godspeed columbia or pbt honeywell uh with a bumper some moyu blacks uh i don't really need film but uh they've they've got the springs on here novel keys has the springs so he doesn't he doesn't have the novel key springs up on here that i saw but it's still brand new uh the novel key springs so it's something that i would appreciate you know more they've got the the stabs from novel keys on here 
You've got PCBs that you can get on here. Everything that a bill uh, for a build that I would absolutely be thrilled with is on this website that I can just click and desk mats that I really like are also on here. Yeah, no, for sure. It's really nice. It's just really nice to have all of that, be able to get a quick, easy glance at everything everywhere and just pick it up. Also, it looks, it's nice to see that the novel keys, I haven't been on the internet very much over the past week. So I didn't even realize that these had come out. Um, the snaps, they came out this morning. Oh, they did? Okay. Is yeah, that also the, when the box, Yes. Uh, the box creams came out? I didn't even yep. see that. That's cool. That all um, came out this morning. Excited to try those. Yeah. So, um, I'm, this is something I can't post enough about. Like I, I, uh, I can't, I think this is just great. Also so, Lux like, cables. How are you, how are you doing? Cause aren't he's in Texas, isn't he? Yeah. I think he's, he's in like yeah, the amount of cable makers that are in Texas. <laughs> Space cables is in Texas. Yeah. Like, are, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I you, was hitting up, uh, it's cause blind assassin. Yeah, he was without power for like two days, and I, I was PMing him a bunch. I was like, I was like, this box of seventy <laughs> files need to be sent. You need to stay alive, damn it! <laughs> oh man, but yeah, without power and fought water for five days. Jeez, man, you had it oh, worse Lord. than us. Yeah, luckily we got power back pretty quick. I didn't have water for a while, but I, it's okay. I, I went on what I dub the poop trek. Yep. A couple times, walked down about like a quarter of a mile down to the Walgreens. You know, nice little walk in in the weather. It was actually kind it, of refreshing. It wasn't that bad. Like the it wasn't that because once you get below a certain point, right. cold is cold. And like because I walked to Seven Eleven to go get food because uh, we just didn't. Our issue is we just didn't have food. Um, but like I was like I wasn't ever that cold. It's just that the power was out and the infrastructure of Texas is not built to handle this kind of cold. Yeah. And it was, it's one of those things, if it was super windy, it would have been way worse. But the fact yeah, that it oh, wasn't super windy. Um, yeah. I got down you to cost one. Late year 776, 1776, yeah. Texans aren't built for this, right? Yeah. So I loved it. I was <laughs> outside. I was in hog heaven. But I, I absolutely love the cold. But I remember someone in our Discord uh, kind of ridiculing me a little bit for not having a snow shovel. I was like, why the fuck? <laughs> you live in an apartment. Like, where are you going to put that? I live in an apartment in Texas. I don't need a snow shovel. Like, I get it. I understand that, yes, as a state, we're not prepared for cold weather. But as Osiris was saying to someone in the in the Discord, when you if you guys had a summer that lasted six weeks of 108 degree weather every day, I would be laughing when your tires have melted to the, <laughs> to yeah. the cement. <laughs> like it's like this is Texas. We're used to very hot. And if you're down south, you're used to very hot and high humidity. Uh I'm sure if if you people up north were uh in that for two months, you would want to die. Yep. Um, and if you were in like Arizona where it's so hot that your windshield wipers melt to your windshield, then, you know, you'd also not be happy about that. Our houses are built to keep the cold air in and the hot air out, not the other way right. around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, back to the website, not much more really to say. I'm going to put this in our discord. I'm going to put this on our Instagram. This is honestly, I, I I hope you can keep up with this. I like that. Where I I don't I don't feel like I have a sp I don't feel like I'm having one specific person being thrown in my face. Like that's what I do like. I see a lot of vendors. Some some places who maybe specialize in accessories. Yeah, you see a lot more there. Or maybe on keycaps you might see a lot of this. Or on switches you might see a lot of like novel keys. Well, guess what? Novel key sells a lot of switches. Like. Like, but I don't feel like this is sponsored by anyone or anything. Uh, he does have the favorites. I like that. I think it would be cool uh, if if I could get any sort of um, feedback or anything that I think would be cool to add is when you click on the page, 
you could add like under because you kind of you know you have the gold star this is this is what i like but when you click on it before you go to the uh website like on the thock stock you're like this is recommend this could be recommended by mexon deck or this is recommended by apiary or this is recommended by this person because there are a lot of things that i might not get on here that other people like but there are a lot of things on here that i'd be like that's exactly what you should get so yeah. And it'd be cool to see like maybe a content creator where you can go, here's Mex on Dex picks. And yeah. like, so when I go, oh, what do you use specifically? I go, we'll just go right there. Like, this is all the stuff that we use. This is all the stuff that we would use. Keeping track of that with the stuff being in stock might be a bit tricky, but yeah. that's just my two cents. Yeah, maybe once it's like more established and it's been around for a while and like it's like at the rhythm of adding new things, adding things that are in stock there, uh, adding the new products as they come out. Because, dude, the, the community's crazy, right? Like, we need a website like that just to know what the hell's happening, yeah. right? Like, that's the... You can't just browse Geek Hack anymore and get a grasp on what's happening because there's too much. Yeah, so, I'm just saying, to vendors listening... This would be a great opportunity to reach out and be like, every time they use this link, just give them 1% of the buy. Like, like give them a small kickback because if this blows up, what, what we don't want is a vendor coming in, shoving their way to the front and going, here's how much money I can give you if you put our products at the top and say if it's everyone's favorites and do this, this, this. I don't want this to be a... Fa- a, a a contest i would love if but i if this is a website that would take time and energy and effort to keep up in stock and it would be nice if scott w got got paid for what he deserves yeah i mean i think the other piece is like just keeping it not like you'd have to do it in a way where it'd be a blanket thing so that way it's not yeah like there's no favoritism or anything in there yeah. But yeah, yeah no, absolutely. I totally agree. Deserving of, of something from it. Um, not that he that. has told us that he wants something from it or that's yeah, what he's looking is, for. Uh, this I've is just us saying him this. like almost zero. I said, this is a great website. We're covering it on Tuesday. And he said, thank you. I put a lot of work into it. That's, yeah. that's about as far as I went with that conversation. So, so yeah, absolute legend. So thank you, Mr. Scott W. We have another website. This is one that specifically, uh, full disclosure, we are receiving a lot of items from them. Um, this is Kinetic Labs. They're pretty new. Key Bonbon uh, is kind of the the front runner behind this. So full disclosure, we are receiving free items from him to review. Uh, a lot of a lot of other streamers have, uh, whether or not they paid or did not pay for them. That is none of my business, nor do I know anything about that. Uh, when in regards to other people, but he's got a lot of stuff. And I think this website, the website's great, but I think if you're going to hit the ground running, this is how you fucking do it. Yeah, it looks great. He's got a lot of things that like we haven't really seen before. or It's like a little bit different, like one place where you can get a bunch of different types of lube, right? Like when have you seen GS2 lube available from the same place that you can also get 205, 3203? 206 grade zero like and these lube palettes i'm excited to try those out i haven't used that as well as he's got lube brushes uh he's got everything you know yeah. which is nice everything um i love you know the 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 big one that stuck out to me um he's got containers for caps and uh, switches the key caps are it's not anything special you could probably get something like this at a uh like a home depot or something but it's branded. It looks good. All of the stuff's branded, whether you not, or you like that. I don't care personally. If you're not, if you're someone who's like, eh, I don't really care for the branding. Like that's perfectly fine. That's up to you. But he, he branded, but the switch puller, that's the one that I'm like, dude, thank you. Because I've been, I've been waiting for someone to get specifically this switch puller. I highly recommend getting the switch puller because I guarantee you it's the exact same one with his logo on. Yeah. One thing that I really like is that when you click switches, not only does it offer, it does it have the switches that he sells, but it also has the things that you would want typically want to buy with the switches, including mm-hmm. a switch puller films, a container for them, yeah. um, and an opener. Uh, 
So that that's a nice little touch that I don't think a lot of people do. Like a lot of a lot of times it is it can be somewhat hard to find all that stuff. And when you're just taking down like when you're lowering a click that someone has to do on something, it's gonna make it a little bit easier for people to use. Uh but yeah, he's got a lot of stuff. Like even desk mats, he's got some stuff. Um Yeah. Desk mat, I love the dirt I love the 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 options at desk mats. They're a little expensive, I will say. They're mm-hmm. they're a little pricey, but they're in stock. That's the other thing too. Uh they're in stock. Um I love the dots nine thousand nine. I really like the blue horizons uh desk mat. I think it's super clean looking. Again, with the bag, with the logoing, but I like that the desk mats don't have, they have have foregone the logos on the desk mat. Uh, Appreciate that. Uh, So some of the stuff's a little pricey. Another big one that I like is this $60 black on white PBT keycap set. This covers a lot of ground for $60. Yeah, it does. It's a great, great entry. You know, obviously we'll, we'll see once the, uh, we are getting one of these, so we'll see what the quality is like. Um, but yeah, it covers a lot of ground. Fortunately, it doesn't cover split backspace, which is a big thing for Chewy and I, but that's not something where I feel like you can really expect at $60. Like This is more of like, you just need a keycap set quick. You need something that you can just throw on a new board or throw on a board that you've got um, yeah. and be done with it. Yeah, I was, I was sad to see about the no... Um about the no split back space. I, I, I think I could have handled not having some of those space bars, but I know a lot of people are happy about the split space bar option. Um, if I can see that correctly, it looks like there's an extra B even. So you have that option of, um, you do have that option of like the Alice layouts that are getting really, really popular. Maybe that's, leading towards maybe we start seeing some kinetic lab stacked acrylic i don't know if that's a thing uh but offering this kind of definitely leads you in one direction of like well you might be doing that uh it's got media keys which you don't really see very often on uh on keycaps these days um and then and you still have you still have a seven u bottom row so you're not just completely screwed out of uh, you, you're, you know, the hot, maybe a hot swap, but like, if it's, you know, if it's open to two, you backspace, this covers singing as long as it has to you backspace. And even then you can still use all the keys are there. It just wouldn't match for two. You for Christmas. Yeah. Well, and the thing is you could do split backspace and just like throw the extra tilde key yeah. on the other side. And like, like you have the keys in order to do split backspace. Um, it just won't obviously be the traditional, like it won't say backspace in the backspace. It'll just still be the pipe key. Um, but yeah, you've got a lot of compatibility here. Um, and start Conan, I'm, it might be that same set. Who I, I don't really know for sure. It, the text looks a little bit different. I feel like, or maybe not. No, it does. Now that I'm looking at it a little bit closer, it does look very similar in text. It might be the same, uh, manufacturer. Um, but it is nice. And, and, uh, who is it that pointed out? Uh, start content also pointing out the the little graphics at the bottom showing kind of like what's unique what about the products uh, which is nice like when you look at some of these lubes uh, it talks about the different the way that it, it is made up you know what it's good for you know looking at gs2 grease it's thick semi-fluid designed for linear it's like that's a nice little quick deal people yeah. don't like reading longer descriptions this makes it easy no uh, if it is, I mean, who who cares, right? <laughs> like if, if it's the exact same, people liked it, you could still get it. It is $10 more. Is this place a little bit more extensive? Yes, but we're not, we're not talking about group buys. We're talking about in-stock items. Uh, they also have these 9,009 blank caps. If you're into, uh, if you're into blanks, by all means, uh, it's cherry profile. Um, you can, I mean, the best part about blanks is it supports every layout. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pretty much every single layout supported because you have the ability, I guess it doesn't have some of the split space bars, but um, you know, it supports, it supports a lot of layouts because you can, they're blanks. It's kind of like dots where, you know, you, he's got, if you, if you're someone who's wanting to get an ortho or some ergo chewy, where's my minivan, man, I don't know. <laughs> the big thing about these with is supporting wind keyless, supporting seven U bottom row. I feel like a lot yeah. of these, cheaper pbt sets 
um, especially when you look back at the older days when it was just PPT, man. Yeah, it was just novel or not novel keys. It was just uh, KVD KVD fans. fans. They didn't really support a lot of options. Like it didn't come with this many keys. Yeah. So 45 bucks for this is pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. And free shipping continental U S over $99. Another good thing to see. Um, I think, I think this is a slam dunk. I like, you know, the switch containers it's, it, you know, it's, it gets cheaper the more you buy. Like that's always nice to see. Like this just seems like such a good start. This is such a good like jump out the gate of I want to pretty I want to make good stuff that's not is none of this stuff is super duper hype, but this is what you need. This is a website. Like I said, full disclosure, we are in we're we're getting some of this stuff to review. I imagine most of this stuff is a lot of things that's just rebranded. Um and that's totally fine, but this is a website where you can go, hey. You want to get started into keyboards? Pretty much everything except the keyboard is in BCB, which is what you can be getting on a group buy, right? But it's like, hey, like you're if if you're waiting on a GMK set and your board comes in and you need some stuff, this is a website that I would absolutely point people to. I wouldn't be surprised if you start selling soldering iron soon that say Kinetic Lab on them. <laughs> like, yeah, I really love these keycap containers too that show that have the split for like to split your alphas your mods the way that that way you can keep it somewhat you know organized because like one of the things that i loved about the old gmk trays is that you just had it you just opened it up and it was already set up right yeah you didn't have to hunt for things it was a little bit easier obviously you still have to hunt somewhat but this makes it a lot easier yeah. um especially i have like like i have every metaverse kit and like i have the keycap containers that are behind me like you can't see them but these th- the ones that Dixie sells, all of those. Omnitype, I guess. Or, yeah, Omnitype, sorry. We're, we're still getting used to it, guys. Yeah. It's like three it's... years, so. Uh, but all of those, and, uh, you know, I've got every kit for Metaverse, and it's hard to keep it all in one. Like, it, it uses two, and then I have basically all these kits that I don't really use very much of, or I need, like, one key from. It'd be nice to have it all separated. I'm excited because like your Afro keys are nice to kick out. Uh, Novelty keys are a good one to just kind of keep all in the same. Your num, if you have a numpad kit, like that's a good one to store somewhere separately. So we will be getting this stuff probably before next Tuesday. And we might do like a, a little show off of all the things and maybe, maybe do just a video review about it because a lot of this stuff is, I'm, I'm excited because this is, I would have killed for this website to begin my keyboard journey. Lube, yeah. brushes, everything. You can get a one stop shop for almost everything but the board. Like, that's, that's great. That's great. If, if he started selling PCBs and stacked acrylic boards, uh, this could be a, a vendor, I think, that we could be in talks of, you know holding their punches with the with the rest of them right like for sure so but um that is it once again we were not for both these websites we were not i mean we were we were receiving items for kinetic labs but it wasn't really until i saw this website that i'm like this is great stuff and even if we weren't receiving stuff i would still be talking about this website because i firmly believe I already use a lot of this stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, some of the stuff I already have. So, yeah, but. I'm really excited to get that stuff in, um, so we can try it out, see how it is, and then really, uh, you know, I'm excited about those lube brushes too. Like, it's like those yeah. little things because I think there's a lot of people that ask questions like that and they don't know where to get stuff. They don't know exactly what to buy. It's nice to have a source that just shows that. Stoked to support mm-hmm. my favorite keyboard stream. Stoked to support my favorite keyboard stream. Thank you. Like, honestly, thank you. K. Wilden. Is it K. Willidan? No, Wilden. Reading. So, But we have to make up. We've got two weeks. We've got two picks that we need to make this week. Uh, and then next week, we'll actually do the finals and then start uh, next month. Uh, let me, I think, is next month. Is next month four or five? Next month is five Tuesdays. 
So next week we will pick our finalist and then we will uh, of February with the key butts challenge. And then next week we will, uh, or and uh, also next week we'll pick our first uh, keyboard of the week winner for March, which we will uh, talk about what that theme is that literally we came up with five minutes before the stream started. <laughs> so. Roka60, thank you for gifting a sub to both Start Code on UST and Foo Burger. Appreciate those, my dude. Thank you. Thank you. So for those who do not know what Keyboard of the Week is, you can go to our Discord and hit, look up the KOTW uh, channel. This month specifically is Key Butts. We're talking about the back of your keyboard. Um, it is, we are making a calendar and we are asking for your help. And if you win, your keyboard may be featured on that month's calendar. And, or if you win, it will be featured. Uh, so this month is the Keeb Booty, the Keeb Butts, as Osiris likes to call it. Uh, so this is your last chance to get some of these in. We've got some great pictures uh, from, <clears throat> from last week. We've still got a few more left in this week. So hurry up, take your pictures. If not, no worries. We have more content available, an interesting idea that I'm excited to see for next week. What happened to the sexy keyboard calendar we talked about on stream? I think that kind of what is what led to this, this idea. Yeah. The sexy like, keyboard calendar is great, but like, you know, it's, you gotta, you gotta, sh we want maybe a safe for work calendar, but would still bring up an equal amount of questions. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Although we have to come up with something for December. So we might throw in something a little spicy, a little, fun. A little sexy, a little fun, a little, different, a little, a little unique. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it won't be us like naked with uh, keyboards covering our private areas. That would be that's that's what it would be been a little too risque. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, speaking of risque. I want to show off our first one. We can go ahead and get into it and, and chat. You can start. You can post your pictures in the, the KOTW channel in our Discord while we are going. Um, so don't feel like you can't get your posts in. Um, it'll be open until we kind of start picking a, a, our winners. Uh, but mm -hmm. this first one, this is quite risque. It is very hot. There is just booty on top of booty lined up from top to bottom. Oh, yeah. Mr. Dutchmaster coming in hot with what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten booties all stacked up. What do you think about this? Eleven, if you well, okay, that's a plate. Never mind. I was like, is that a full keyboard? No, that's a plate. I mean, I like it. It's a bit of a flex. All right. I feel like, and I, you know what's also flexing is your damned key desk is probably flexing downward. I can I I know how heavy eight of those keyboards are <laughs> yeah i know one of those keyboards alone is worth five pounds so uh it's yeah it's that's that's a lot of that's a lot of thick butts i think i can thick. actually name all of these keyboards too i i don't i have no idea what that top one is the very very top above the uh the iphone board the space 60 so space, space 65. 65 canoe v2 Yell, uh, E6.5, Profit, uh, KBD65, V2, Iron165, obviously, Chimera, Squid60, and the Fox Lab Key 65, or not Key 65, I uh, Fox Lab. Is it the, no, key yeah, it is the key, key 65. I think the only one, I believe, the KBD fans is the Tofu 65. It's the Tofu, the oh, KBD fans. The I think that's the only one, but well done. Well done. Very, very well done. Uh, I, the top two, I, I get confused. Dude, all I'm saying is butts are easier to discern what keyboard it is than it is than the tops. Yeah, it's acrylic. acrylic. So, and guys, Dutchmaster will be on our stream very soon. So very excited about that. Get hype. So we have, that's a great picture. We have another one that I am a bit partial to. Um, <laughs> for obvious reasons. 
Uh, and there is is also featured in the previous picture, but what fucking board isn't featured in the previous picture? This is the Squid C. Uh, nice, fat, brass weight. I've seen a lot of these. You have person. seen quite a few of them. Specifically, all of them. <laughs> yeah, specifically every single one that is in existence. Um, <laughs> of both the Baca and the Squid. Um, yeah, I mean, Squid's a great board. I love my Baca. It was on my desk until about two hours ago before I changed over to my Bauer. And it had been on my desk for like two and a half weeks because I just like it. It's just, it's just it hits. good. It's just solid, you know? It hits. It hits. I, I've, you know, there's I've, I've, the Baca 70 is, uh, the Baca 70 is underway. But now maybe there's whispers of other boards that have been released previously that haven't been released in certain certain ways before so next up great picture of the squid 60 next up we've got i be, i forget is this the tend is this that's the name of back it? to 10 so uh yeah the tend uh great this is the uh basically the um the gasket fiel uh great looking booty great looking weight i love that yeah this looks really really good i love the way that Mechanist does these screw mounts of mm-hmm. how they're like it's not just a hole for the for the top piece like it, it it's nice you know you're not gonna scratch it up if you have like a, a slightly larger screw um, driver or anything um, I think it just looks aesthetically really clean obviously I love the the copper weight with the mechanist yeah. logo there it looks great people love the tin I know uh Wakeham's from top clack he paired his up with uh, some lavender switches and he is just in love with it. I don't think he stopped using his tin since he built it a couple weeks back. So mm-hmm. plus this is just a great picture. Neb, yeah. the color master is, it looks great. You know, I, I found a video on my phone the other day and it was at NorCal back when we were allowed to sit close to each other. And I'm like panning and you are sitting next to I am you are you and uh, Mac Merlin. And then Huey's talking to Olivia and then I turn and ne- <laughs> it's just all of Nebulin's face. <laughs> I was sitting like knee to knee with Nebulin. And he's just like, sup? <laughs> and I was like, oh, meetups. <laughs> Dude, yeah, there's people I didn't realize like lightning was there that night. Yeah, he was there chilling yeah. and the people that, you know, we met that we didn't know. So yeah, Zyko's and attend. Love it. Please send a typing test to me personally. King Friday the 7th. I would love to hear that. But next up from that one, Brody, we've got a J. I am assuming this is the JO2 based on the sizing. Um, a very, I love the logo because of how clean it is. It reminds me of like an app. Like I feel like I could, <laughs> like it could be an app for J. Uh, just a very, very clean. I love the the bottom design of the J bo- designed boards. They're just. Now that you said that, that it looks like an app, I, it makes me feel like this should be an Adobe. Like it looks like the Adobe application uh, right. template. Um, yeah. JO2. Haven't had a chance to mess around with one of these yet. I know we're supposed to get one, but shipping and mm-hmm. lots of things are getting in the way. Of, lots of non keyboard things are getting in the way of keyboard things. I love this board. It's thick mid piece. Um, that thick brass mid piece, I think it looks great. Uh, and the pin rail, I like the pin rail. Uh, if I had a little bit more money at the time when I when these were selling, I probably would have picked one up because I really like the design. Yeah. I really like Jay as a person. So, but yeah, it looks great. Nice. I mean, I would love to build your L E uh, Joe too, Mister Nathan Alpha Man. So, which, by the way, I mean, I'm telling you, man, you, you made a great set. Hey, <laughs> Chill for Nathan. So, uh, what do we got up next? Next up, this is an exempt. This is a blast from the past. This is a, a board that was like super hyped up. Some of the most well known names were involved in this board, um, especially at the time. Like, this was a joint venture from like what 2017 2018 um this is the exent was a board that is very large this was like i think one of the first 
giant bezeled 65% boards. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a joint venture between Originative Co., Rama, TGR, and oh my gosh, Singa Creator. What's the name? Why can't I not remember? I can't think of it. Isn't that just Singa KBD? Or are you talking about the guy? Um, like the name of their company. Uh, I always thought it was just Singa Keyboards. Is it? I made that in the Jaguar, I think. Yeah. Well, and the, the and then, well, that's like that's like the actual person. Elaine. Yeah, but well, they make the Singa, which is the Singa seventy five, and then mm-hmm. the Jaguar and the Unicorn, which is the joint venture of Singa and TGR. Singa is the brand, right? Okay, Singa might be the brand. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so, it was a joint venture between the three great. of them, <laughs> and it was. For lack of a better word, it was a shit show. Yeah, it, trouble. <laughs> but it exists. Too many cooks in the kitchen, and no one wanted to like actually do anything with it. Like it was supposed to be a Rama board. Like Rama was supposed to run it, and then he was like, after M sixty five A was like, nah, I'm good. And then Originative got involved and ran it, and then it was just like, it was like everyone. Together they all birthed birthed this child, and then no one wanted to deal with or raise said child. What is it? They call happened. it. They call it. They made a camel. They set out to make a horse, and they made a camel. I think that's from like, uh, Parks and Rec. But some people but, really love this board. Like this is one of those things that people like. You know, you look at some of the Jessica sets where at the time people hated them, and then. As it grew older, people really started to enjoy it for what it is. And I think there's some people, like, I know Apiary loves the Exent. Um, I don't know if she loves it. I know she enjoys it as well as uh, Neflock likes it as well. And, uh, yeah. What do you think? This is a pretty good-looking butt, though. I mean, it's a good butt, see-through butt. Um, I mean, it's it's fantastic. Like, it looks it looks clean. I like that you know since it's got some lift it'll it'll glow but it's not like glowing in your face it's that nice underglow that's achieved beautifully so dude we missed that like there's no like that's not really as much of a thing anymore like it's full polycarb it's no longer the just the bottom but uh but yeah this looks great also really good picture as well Mm -hmm. So next up another really good picture a TGR Singa mix up with unicorn uh this is white with i believe a cerakoted gray weight um i don't believe that was standard <laughs> whenever it came out uh this is a super clean looking board uh the singa the the unicorn is it's a cool 60 percent i've typed on them it's not my favorite uh it's stainless steel it's for, it's around 2.1 okay um the singa the the unicorn the singa unicorn tgr unicorn whatever you want to call it it's not my absolute favorite 60%, but it it definitely holds its own and it, it's very unique. It's one of the more unique keyboards in this hobby based on the mounting style. Um so and and then this just looks super fucking clean. Yeah. Yeah. Have they changed anything with the way that it's like the the gasket, the rubber band thing? Do you know in round two? Because I know you couldn't I don't it was goofy. I know they, I know they've, they changed yes, the yes. actual gaskets they send, Ga- but it or like, I, th- I thought they at least changed It's a daughter board now, but I thought they changed like what vendor they were buying the gaskets from. Cause I know for ROM one, you couldn't use screw in stabilizers, which fucked mm-hmm. a lot of people up because they would get done with the build and then they would go to put it in the board and then they would not be able to screw everything down. <laughs> like it would just either like tear the gasket but uh yeah you still can't I'm yeah. really fucked for him. it's so i mean it's it's got its flaws it looks really really nice though um just overall fantastic and our last picture which uh another row of boards boards we've seen before but another a couple boards we haven't seen which has one of the nicer key butts in it from the moon tower, we've got a Fiel, a key Colt looks to be a, uh, 265, um, a, uh, attend. And then the moon tower all in there with some tools 
So very cool. Love this picture. Fantastic picture. Um, all boards, three of the four that I would absolutely own in a heartbeat. Um, just great, great picture, great butts. And if anyone's confused as to why he said three out of the four, he wouldn't buy the uh, the number two sixty five. Um, or if he did, he would just give it to me or his wife, yeah. probably his wife. But uh, probably my wife. I know she likes the sixty fives. Um, I'll just let you two fight for it. Like. <laughs> the uh i love the moon tower i love like the the moon tower logo i think it just looks so cool like it's it's just such a nice contrast like i feel like you see you know three different types of weights here that are like the standard like the just bare brass right the logo that's uh etched into the bottom or not etched but i guess in in grave technically yeah. yeah and then the uh the raised logo but then you have this that's just kind of like screen printed on or printed on, uh, which I feel like you don't see as much anymore. I feel like everyone's yeah. trying to do, uh, you know, carved out or or the uh, carved out around the logo. Uh, I'm totally butchering what the actual terminologies are for those things, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, but I think it looks good. I also love the moon tower and the unicorn does this as well, where it like very unnecessarily cuts around the bump on spots like they could have totally just made the weight just a little bit smaller but they're like fuck mm. that max weight as big as we can we're gonna cut around the bump hell yeah in boston well, engraved there we go. boston engraved and g willard yes i have a, a key cult number one right here and 60 percent. so i i, I it's nothing against key cult <laughs> i love my key cult i just I have two rules in in regards to well, technically three, uh, uh, but one of them is I just kind of one of them is kind of two. I don't buy sixty five percent, and I don't buy HHKB boards because outside of one board, which is my Alice style board, every board that I have has to be usable at my desk for pretty much everything. I have to be able to do everything comfortably with the keyboards that I own. Um, is some are some boards better? If I'm if I'm making a lot of spreadsheets and doing a lot of stuff, yeah, I'll grab a seventy five or my TKL. But I can still game with those too. HHKB, I can't game with that, so that's that. And sixty five percent is just a, a layout that I was never a big fan of. So that's, that's it. It it saved me a lot of money. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So we have to pick. Do we just pick four? I think we pick four and let people limit it down to two, or I guess. I guess we just know. We just pick four and then the top two are the winner. Okay. So. Um, hmm. We'll do this like like the like an actual draft. We'll do yeah, a snake, snake. Like a snake draft? Yeah. You can go first. Okay. I'll go first. Um, I'm going to take first pick unicorn because I, I think the matte look on boards is not seen enough. I like the matte look mm -hmm. of items. So. Um, I'm going to go the, I'm going to go Neb's picture of the 10 and then the, uh, man, this is hard. I don't want to go. Same board is there. Both do that. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the exempt. Exempt. I'm torn on two. I, I think. I think I'm gonna go with the J O two. I want to go with the Squid sixty. I mean, but I'm gonna try the J the J O2. I do really like. It's kind of got a cool like outdoor vibe. More on that in a minute. So let's start the poll. You will get one vote, but if you you will get one vote, but the top two will win. And then we will get this up. Oh, I just exited out of Chrome because I'm good at. Compooper. 
Um, <laughs> so let's. While you do that, I'll go through our. I'll go through our sponsors. And Ooh, there we go. All right. So while he gets that poll set up for keyboard of the week, um, a quick shout out to our sponsors. First and foremost, OmniType. You can go to mexondeck.omnitype.com. They've got some cool stuff over there. Uh, GMK Tuesday is live for about a week. Um, it ends on Sunday. Uh, so definitely check that out. Pick it up. Uh, it looks pretty sweet if you're into light purple. They also um, have the Brushworks desk pad group by is up and running. Uh, so you can definitely check that out. It's three desk mats if you were into that style of artwork. Looks pretty cool. So definitely check those out. And then next up, we've got Project Keyboard. You can go to mexondeck.project.link. GMK Astral will be coming soon. Um, again, if you're into light purple, set for you. Um, it'll be great. Check it out. Coming out soon. As well as they do have pre-orders for some items, such as GMK Noir, Dolch R5, and GMK Sumi. Still in stock. You can pick one of those up. You can get it at a lower price than what it will be whenever group buy actually ships and extras are available as well as you can get yourself an alice pcb if you want to pick up maybe a st stacked acrylic alice there's a nice little pcb for that and then last but not least canon keys go to canonkeys.com slash mechs on deck the onyx keyboard is running i love this layout i think it looks great uh it's an f rowless tkl with a four cluster macro column um to the left side which is nice uh, but it looks good and it's available in a wind keyless option which i think looks really good uh, it's pretty simple three colors or sorry five color options um so definitely check that out it is a little little up there 520 uh, but they but i i would say it's worth it gmk birch pick that up for a couple more days run until march 1st so that'll be ending next monday so definitely check that out over there as well and then, of course, our partners, go to zapcables.com. Pick yourself up a bumper. They got bumpers in stock while supplies last. Pretty inexpensive. Chewy is in love with his. Um, Ooh. There you go. Ooh. And they're like 300 bucks. Like, what? What? And they sound amazing. One of my best sounding boards. So definitely check that out over there. Pick one up. Type Beast. Go to typebia.st. Sign up for the newsletter. Also, we got some some leaks for for Mac Madness 2021. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm allowed to share these, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leak them anyway. There's gonna be seven rounds for keyboards, 124 keyboards that you'll be able to pick from. Uh, and then there's gonna be eight rounds for key sets. 182 key sets are in there, and you want to go get more information about mech madness go check out MacMadness.gg as well as uh, follow them on instagram that's where everything will be happening this year um, everything starts on the 15th brackets open on the first uh, so you got about a week before brackets start and then you got two weeks to get them in so definitely want to do that and then last but not least smith rune iron 165 second round's coming out so stay on top of it. They got cool merch. Check it out. They don't have enough keyboard merch. And I feel like not a lot of people buy it. Go buy it. Go get yourself a mug. Get yourself a cafe mug. Yeah, I want to say the, uh, the Iron 165 is coming out like this week. I feel if so I bad. I remember correctly. I haven't like stayed in touch with like everything because I felt like I just didn't exist on the internet for like five days. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but yeah, All right, it's coming out very, very soon. So, uh, guys, I'm starting the poll now three minutes and I tried something different. If you have channel points, you can add a vote. So if you want to vote for 5,000 channel points, you can add another vote to maybe another board that you really like. So be sure to check out. We got number one, single unicorn and white. Number two, sing the tend with the copper weight. Three extent with the or the exempt with the PC base. And at number four, the JO2 in black. All fantastic boards, all great pictures. Speaking of pictures, next month, 
we're going to ask you to go outside. We're going to ask you to go outside. March, lots of colors, lots of springtime feels. Four leaf clovers are a plus, as it is oftentimes in children's calendars. March is covered with clovers. Um, go outside safely and neatly. Put your keyboard face up or face down, preferably face up, in the grass, outside, in some of the environment, if you can safely, and take some pictures. Yeah. Uh, We've got a couple on here that are examples of that. This JO2 outside, obviously, it's on the concrete. That works. We've got the Singa is the, sorry, the unicorn, PGR Singa unicorn, is outside as well. You know, this works. Absolutely. Um, so, Vix, you know, I love uh, one of my favorite uh, people that takes pictures of their boards is Mechanisk. And he somehow balances them in a tree. I don't recommend. Um, so, bro, us northerners disadvantage too much snow. Take them in the snow. Dude, the don't, snow don't picture looks in safe. the snow. But if you can safely get your keyboard in and out of the snow quick enough, or maybe lay something down on it, right? Put it on a plate. I don't know. Put a desk mat on the snow. Uh, That'd be sick. (laughs) No green grass, Montana in March. It's all good though. We will just find something. You can, there are trees. You can lean it against a tree, find something outside, something in nature. It could be, it could be you holding the board on top, like outside in nature, you know, like if you live, like you live near a mountain range, like that would be dope. Like the keyboard in focus, holding it, and the mountain range is in the background, just like in a nice Ooh. bouquet or bokeh, yeah. bokeh, bokeh. Bokeh. nice bokeh, bokeh in the background, a little bokeh balls from the sun. Come on, let's go. So uh, we'd love to see it. Your the keyboard boxes are great. Another great great option. Um, so be safe, please, for the love of God, be safe. Don't like throw your board on gravel and be mad at us. Um, yeah, we don't smart. accept any responsibility for someone breaking or ruining their keyboard by trying to take a picture outside. <laughs> so we have our winners, though, that will fight for the top spot next week. Oof. The JO2 with an overwhelming 17 votes at 49% with the Singa Unicorn and White just edging out that 10 with the copper weight by one vote, nine to eight. So congratulations to those picture takers. We will get those in uh, for next week for the vote. Um, Other than that, tomorrow we've got Space Cables joining us. Excited to get to talk to him. Uh, I know we had like talked, we had talked a long time ago about having him on the show. And then it just, I think, scheduling people gets difficult because when you want to bring people on, maybe they'll like time it with an event that's happening or something they're releasing and then things get jumbled and then the world freezes over and you have to reschedule lightning. Um, so wow, rigged. Um, so absolutely. Yeah, we absolutely rigged it. Um, Mr. (laughs) Mr. Lux, how dare you get, (laughs) get second. So, but remember that those were first and second place are both going to go. So, uh no god are we? absolutely um so tomorrow we've got space cables same time and then what are you doing on saturday saturday i'm just gonna be doing a little bit more of what we've done the past couple of weeks we're just gonna be chores. we're gonna be doing some keyboard chores i'm gonna be messing around with some switches trying some things out maybe i'll do some um uh, i'll do some showcasing of, of my feckers. of my feckers alongside all of the different panda variants that i have um i'll make some zykos and lube some of these up and then i'm also going to mess around with i think i might mess around with one of these some of these these new switches from mode um i haven't even opened these yet i just got them today so uh, or yesterday um, you might even have some uh one of those those paint the polar the, the penguins, penguins. Pen- yeah switches. i'm gonna get some of those in so so gotta hear the scratch absolutely So, guys, thank you very, very much uh, for everyone that came out today. Uh, Thank you for sticking around. Sorry we missed a week. We were uh, unable to stream. Um, So excited (laughs) about 
uh being back so and our awesome awesome moderator is on i am me you are you stream tonight hey yo so we're going to throw it to i am me you are you uh with keeb noob who is going to be uh she is in their stream she was on the stream right now so excited to hear that stuff and things hanging out with keep noob so she is awesome um be sure to check out that stuff and thank you guys for voting and thank you for coming out yeah. enjoy and, and enjoy the rest of your tuesday bye switch time